let's see now these three types of properties or formula. Before we go ahead, actually, these properties, it's a condition. And the result of this condition is true or false. So you are writing queries or you are writing these properties and then the result of these and then you will check these properties in your model and then the result of this query will be true or false satisfy or not satisfy so this is the first point the first point that this property actually is it's express condition and the result of this except risk condition either true or false satisfy or not satisfy this is the second the first point the second point actually as you see we have different types of properties but in the end we should to know how to write your queries more than to learn and know which queries or what type of query, what, what type of your queries so it's important to know how to write and translate your requirement to queries more than to know the classification of your queries so let's go to the first so before we go to these properties one by one actually we will use here some quantifiers so in general, we have two types of quantifiers that can be evaluated on the path. The first one is the existing path, so it's represented by E, and the second one is all paths. So here is some existing path, and here all the paths. Here, this symbol is used state in a path, so all the state in path. But here it's some state in a path. So these four quantifier actually it will be used in uh, the next slides. So you should know what's what the meaning of this. As you say, the first E is exist path, while here all the path, here state in a path, while here some state in a path. And then we can also face some combination of these quantifiers and it's followed by the expression, followed by the expression, the condition expression. Fetchability properties. Actually, fetchability properties is the simplest properties and it's just ask whether we can reach a specific properties or uh, is this is a formula is a given formula is true in a specific properties so in Ubal we can express this formula by asking by this symbol we can express uh, this formula by writing this symbol which is existing in existing state is this formula true in existing space state or is it possible to reach a state in which B uh, this formula P or this state or this state property or this state formula is true is it possible to reach this state in which the formula is true so b should be true at least in one formula in one state so this is the reachability safety and lightness these two formula or two properties actually is important and also it's important to uh, translate your uh, your requirement into these safety and property and likeness properties and then to verify them. So before we go to see how we write these two formula in Ubal, we will see first 
an example to explain what the safety and lightness mean. So both of them actually is, we can say is that used to verify the correctness of the system. So the safety and lightness is used to verify the safety of the system or the, the correctness of the system. So the, the safety properties guarantee that something bad will never happen. So this property try to ensure that something bad will never happen. While the lifeness, the lifeness is something good eventually will happen. So you can see the difference between them. So we in the safety, we try to avoid to anything bad to happen. While in the lifeness, eventually something good will happen. So, is there an example in our real life that can use to uh, represent these two? It can be used. Is there any other? Is there any real life example that can illustrate the meaning of these two satisfy these two properties? So let's see this example. Here, if we look to the traffic light. So what's the safety of these traffic lights? So the safety here, the safety of this traffic line, that's we have one direction should have the green light. So here, one direction, it's only have a green light. So this is to avoid something bad happen, to avoid, for example, two green light happen in the same time. So here, ensure that something bad will not happen. So this is the safety. So we just have in your model you should to ensure that only one green light in one time. Okay. So the lifeness, the lifeness. Okay. We see eventually the traffic light will get to green light. So uh, in the end, even you will wait in the uh, traffic light intersection but in the end your light will be green so this is eventually something good will happen that means we should ensure that in the end uh, the, the green the green light will on so this is the safety and lightness here an example also in uh, classroom example we say as the safety here for example for example we can say in the classroom the safety that's the, the the subject will never drop by the faculty it's okay can drop by the student but by the faculty should not be dropped by the faculty so the lifeness here eventually you will take the exam so this is the lifeness of this example so the safety properties can be in two forms the first is invariantly or invariance so invariance that means it's something never change so for example if the operating temperature should always under a certain threshold so the meltdown never occur so the first form is invariance and this is it's if you can see as a keyword always or invariance is used in this form uh, in this form something never change so the second one is the variance and these properties is something with possibility never happen for instance when you're playing a game so the safe state when you still can win so you will never lose so this is two forms of the safety and these two forms it's actually is satisfy in the bad and this bad it's sometimes it's always or it's always in um, in, it's always in all states, it is the spherist form, 
the first form is that means it's always in all the state while the second one it's we can say also it's always but in all bad so we have a bad so all the state should be satisfy the formula or satisfy the property as you see here in the two form of the safety property we still ensure that something bad will never happen even something never shrink or something never happened so in both we still say something bad never happened so let's see how we can write these two forms of safety properties in google so the first form as we see is invariant so invariance uh, this one it's take this form that's mean all in all bad as we, as we mentioned before this a does mean all and these two practice does mean bad so this property should be true in all bad in another express we can say b is true in all reachable state so the second form which is variance so the variance does mean b it's true in all in some existing bad but all the state should be true all state is true in some existing bad not in all bad in all state uh, b is true but in some bad b is should be true so this is the second form of the safety this is the variance that mean the B is true in some existing bed, but that, that, that means B B is true in existing bed, but in all the state that's bad. The second form, which is liveness, or the second properties, which is liveness. The liveness actually, as we mentioned, is something eventually will happen. As we say, the green light eventually should be, or the intersection lights eventually should be green. Another example here: when you're pressing on button of the row of on the button on the remote control, the television eventually will on. So this is an example. Here also another example: the communication protocol. Once the user it sent, sends the user sent a message so this message eventually will be received or eventually will be delivered so this is the liveness and this is some example let's see now how we can formulate these properties in Google so the first form is as we see in all path in all path B eventually is true in all bad b eventually is true this is the first form the second form of the second form of lightness leads to leads to that mean if b if b is true so q should be also true so b uh, q is true so b it's lead to be true also and the same thing here but here in the end eventually b q is true uh, q is true q is true so eventually even not exactly after uh, in the same time but maybe in the end b or should be also so this is the second type of uh, liveness we have in liveness we can be as a bad formula and then eventually eventually b will be true i mean b will be true in some state or b b will be true if q is true so this is the second type of liveness so here we summarize our 
topics or our uh, queries so or properties so the first one is the retrievability we can see here in all in some state in some state or at least one state b is true so invariantly which is the safety properties also while here is inventable inventable actually this is uh, is the lifeness while potential always or we can say is invariant its safety properties so there is some existing bad all b is true so here is the safety the second one is the safety while the the, the last the this one the third one and the last one is lifeness so there here is all the uh, safety property all here is all the properties that can be seen in uh, open. 